All right. Next up is Revolutionizing VFX Production with Real-Time Volumetric Effects. Presenting are Alex Petrenko and Dimitro Bulatov from Zebra AI. Alex brings a wealth of experience from working across the globe in prominent enterprise service and product companies as well as startups, where he has been instrumental in building and scaling business development and sales teams. Dimitro is a lead 3D engineer at Zebra AI. He has an extensive background working on AAA titles, having been part of Ubisoft and Blackwood Games. Now he is developing tools for game development and film production. Please give a big SIGGRAPH welcome to Alex and Dimitro. Thank you, Emily. Here at Zebra, we are building a set of tools for real-time VFX workflows. And we combine our extensive expertise in real-time 3D programming, along with our AA proprietary algorithms to achieve the best possible performance levels. Hi, my name is Alex, and with support from my colleague, Mitro, we will walk you through some of our latest demos. And the first tool we would like to introduce is called Zebra VTB. This solution allows you to use volumetric effects directly in the game engine. Let's see how it works. We start simply with importing the open VDP sequence. And normally, volumetric effects has too much of memory footprint to be practically used in the project. Therefore, the first step in our workflow is basically compression itself. As you can see, the original effect size is about four and a half gigabytes. And we can achieve up to a 6x compression rate with minimal quality loss. And for the next major update, we are aiming to at least double those compression metrics. Compression itself is performed on the GPU, so even large effects can be imported extremely quickly. The compression is performed in real time as the fact is playing, ensuring that storage is not a bottleneck. This means you don't need to store uncompressed files, saving you lots of storage costs. Additionally, you don't need very fast storage for streaming purposes. The compression also runs on the GPU and has minimal performance impact and taking as little as 10% of an effect's render time. After compression is done, you can simply just drag and drop your effect onto your gaming scene. As you can see, the effect decompresses and renders effectively in real time on the RTX 3060 laptop GPU. If you check the compression rate, it should be about 3x with the default settings. So the effect size and up being only about 170 megabytes of memory. And of course, you have all of the control over the compressed effects. So here are some of the parameters you can easily tweak after importing the effect. Change in color, channel scale, change in lighting, its playback setting, etc. All these allow you to fine tune your effects inside of the gaming engine. And unlike the past-gen flipbook approach, where you need to be rebaking them and be aware of camera angles, volumetrics are much more agile. With real-time rendering, you could easily use them for virtual production directly on set or for game development use cases. And with modern hardware, you can use volumetric effects even on mobile phones. Yes, we successfully launched Zebra VDB compressed effects on an iPhone at 3 FPS. Now, let's finally take a look at slightly more complex scene. We created this scene as a virtual production demo and slightly learned to optimize it for um, PlayStation 5 level hardware for use in gaming. We have added two VDB effects here. The first one is actually a burning car. The original effect size was about three gigabytes and we compressed it down to only 150 megabytes. The second one is Steam. Originally two gigabytes compressed to 100 megabytes. This is what you can easily achieve on the PlayStation 5 with the current state of our technology. Effects on scene like this will only add 250 megabytes to your game build, compared to five gigabytes if no compression were used. Now, let's jump to the next tool. It's called Zebra Smoke and Fire. We built this tool for real-time in-engine smoke and fire simulations. You can achieve precise object integration in real-time on consumer class hardware and we use AI to compress object SDF, then use it in compressed form directly in the simulation algorithm. So the only small compressed SDF is stored in memory. We call this technology neural SDF. 
it compresses the collider memory footprint on average by 40x. And with this technology, you have many objects interacting with simulation without manually configuring colliders. However, in case you don't need a fact to be interactive, you can just bake the simulation using Zebra VDB technology. You can specify the range and the timeline and easily bake it. And afterward, you can switch between using real-time simulation and Zebra VDB playback. Since it's now a pre-recorded effect, you are free to control its playback via the same timeline you used for baking. And now, let's jump to the last demo, Zebra Liquid. Here you can see another real-time in-engine simulation technology, but in this case, for liquids. And similar to Zebra Smoke and Fire, it is also powered by neural SDF technology, ensuring very precise interaction with objects. With these tools, we can create volumetric effects from start to finish inside of the game engine with a much simpler workflow and faster iteration times. Our goal is to continue improving the quality of simulation to match industry standard tools, combine all these features in one solution to empower and streamline VFX creation with in-engine workflows. We just finished our private beta for Zebra VDB and announcing its, sorry, public alpha, announcing public beta, so you can actually play around with those tools and access them immediately. And here you can also see a short URL and a QR code in case you would like to access the test flight Zebra VDB demo for an iPhone 15, where it features real-time decompression and rendering of OpenVDB explosion as a proof of VDBs running on mobile phones. Thank you so much for your time, and check out zebra.ai for more information. Thanks so much, Alex and Dimitro. Zebrava for an awesome presentation. Thank you, thank you. Did they VDB line their way to the top of your list? I guess we should keep going to find out. So, moving right along, we've got Moving Tracin.